All right, so today we are looking at equations and we're trying to decide if the equation represents a linear equation or a nonlinear equation. Now, here's the key to this whole thing. We know linear equations can be put into the form y equals mx plus b. If you can rearrange the algebra equation to be in this form, then we know it's linear. All right, so the way we test to see if these equations are linear is try to get the equation so that y is by itself on one side of the equal sign and see if the equation falls in this format, y equals something x plus something. All right, so let's test it out. So for a, 8x plus 2y equals 36. I'm going to try and get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 8x on both sides. All right, when I do that, these undo each other, I get 2y equals, now I can't combine x's in regular numbers, so I'll keep them separate, and I'll put the x first because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep x first based on this format. Now, I want y by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. And notice, I have to do it to the entire other side. We have to divide the whole side by 2. All right, when I do that, I'm left with y equals negative 8x divided by 2 is negative 4x plus 36 divided by 2 is 18. Now notice I've just used algebra and I'm in the format of y equals something x plus something. Yes, this is linear. All right, I've got a few more to try so let's do it. x squared plus y equals 11. All right, again Let's see if we can get y by itself. I'm going to subtract x squared from both sides of the equal sign. When I do that, these undo each other. I'm left with y equals, I can't combine x's with regular numbers, so I'll keep it separate. All right, and notice, I've got y by itself, so I'm kind of done here. So if I look at this equation compared to this one, it looks similar, except this one has y equals x squared. y equals mx plus b, linear equation does not have an x squared. It just has a regular x. That means this is nonlinear. It's close to the format of y equals mx plus b, but it's got that x squared, so it is not y equals mx plus b. All right, let's do some more. I've got four more. Here we go. 7x minus 5y equals 20. Again, let's get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 7x's from both sides of the equal sign. When I do that, these go away negative 5y drops down, equals drops down. I can't combine x's in a regular number, so I'll keep them separate. And to get y, I'll divide both sides by negative 5. And notice, again, I have to divide the entire side by negative 5 over there. I get y equals, now be careful here, negative divided by negative is a positive, and 7 divided by 5 is not a whole number, so I'm going to keep it as a fraction. 7 divided by 5 is 7 fifths. Don't forget the x. And then positive 20 divided by negative 5 is negative 4. Okay, now let's look at this. I got y by itself. Notice the format y equals something x, in this case, minus 4 or plus negative 4. This is a linear equation. It's in the format y equals mx plus b. So this is linear. All right. Let's go to the next one. y divided by x equals 2. All right, we need to get y by itself. So it says divide by x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And that will undo the x down here. I'm left with y on this side. On the other side, 2 times x is 2x. And I've got y by itself. Oh, well, I'm done. Now let's see. Is this in y equals mx plus b format? This shows y equals something x. And since there's nothing on the end, you could almost imagine this as plus 0. So this is in slope-intercept form. This is linear. All right. Two more. Let's go. x squared plus y equals x squared plus 6x plus 5. OK, this one looks confusing. But we want y by itself. So I'm going to subtract x squared from over here. But what I do to one side, I have to do the other. And when I subtract it, I'm going to put it under the other x squared. And here's why. 
x squared minus x squared leaves me with nothing. Okay, so over on the left side, I only got y. Over here, x squared minus x squared also leaves me with nothing. So everything else drops down. The 6x plus 5 drop down. And notice, now I've got y by itself. Okay, now I can decide. Is this in slope-intercept form? y equals something x plus something. Yes, it is. This is a linear equation. You might not have thought that originally because of the x squared. But when we subtract the x squared on both sides, they went away. Now we're just left with a linear equation. All right, last one. 2y equals 4 times x plus 3. OK, this one's kind of a mess. But we've got parentheses here, so let's start with the distributive property. OK, so 2y equals 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 3 is 12. OK, I want to get y by itself still. So I'm going to divide by 2. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So 2's undo each other, but the y drops down. Equals drops down. And now I've got to divide, divide everything by 2. 4x divided by 2 is 2x plus 12 divided by 2 is 6. All right, I got y by itself. Now I can decide. Is this, is this in slope-intercept form? y equals something x plus something. Yes, it is. It's linear. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to check to see if an equation is a linear equation because all we're going to do is see if we can get it into that format using algebra. And when you get y by itself, just look at the equation and see, is it in the format y equals something x plus something? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It just depends. All right? So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe. It really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.